Charlie Morton, meanwhile, going for the Atlanta Braves, and he has DeGrom-like numbers against the Mets this year in a couple of starts, a 0.69 ERA. Pete Alonzo up to the plate. 0-1 to Alonzo. Line drive right to Freddie Freeman, and on a knee, he squeezes out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. One man left. We played a half an inning. Mets nothing. And the Braves coming up when we come back. Youngster Tyler McGill will make his second Major League start, and he did so against the Braves his last time out. Ronald Acuna leads off. Wasn't in the lineup against McGill the first time that Tyler faced them last week. And it's on the inside corner. We'll back up slider from McGill to get Acuna for the first out. So one out and nobody on. Now Freddie Freeman. Freddie had two of his hits in a four hit game against McGill last Wednesday. And he goes down swinging on the slider. And McGill's got back to back strikeouts on six pitches to start the game. Albies, like Acuna, has struggled against the Mets this year, just four for 28. In fact, the Braves as a team have a 178 average against Met pitching this year. And a back foot slider, and this time he went around for strike three. And so McGill strikes out the side on 11 pitches rather than nine. Quite a start for the rookie. No score after one. It's Dansby Swanson hitting fifth in the order. And Swanson takes a slider for strike three called. Generous call by Adam Beck. And McGill's got his fourth strikeout. So McGill with a chance to get through the inning. First and third and two down. And now the number eight hitter, William Contreras. Travis Darno down for probably the majority of the season after tearing up his thumb. And Alex Jackson, who was supposed to be his backup, has been out for most of the year as well. So that's pushed Contreras into the number one spot. With Kevin Smith as his backup, and he drives one out to left center field. Coming on is Dom Smith diving, and he makes the catch. Dom got just enough of a jump. Now McNeil, who had a run scoring hit in last night's game, knocking home a man who was in scoring position, something McNeil's hardly done this year. Here's the one two pitch. It's a check swing for strike three. It skips away from Contreras, but McNeil. Was walking back to the dugout that secures the strikeout on his first strikeout of the ball game. We head to the bottom of the third inning. No score in Atlanta. So one out and one on for Freddie Freeman, who struck out his first time up. Good battle going here between McGill and Freeman. This will be the seventh pitch. And he struck him out with a changeup. So McGill picks up his fifth strikeout as he gets Freeman for the second time. Lindor had that sack bunt back in the first inning. Got him to swing at that one, and Lindor will be thrown out with a good peg to first. And back-to-back -back strikeouts for Charlie, who has set down 10 straight. Two down for Dominic Smith, who's over one with a ground out. One-two pitch. Got him looking. Strike three. Fastball takes care of Dominic Smith and the Mets here in the top of the fourth inning. Three strikeouts now for Morton in the ball game. No runs, one hit, no errors, and none left. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Mets and Braves scoreless in Atlanta. McGill has turned in three scoreless innings. He's given up a hit and two walks over the first three, striking out five. Riley has the hit, a single to right center in the second. Seventh pitch of the bat coming from McGill to Riley. And he struck him out with a slider. Six strikeouts now for Tyler McGill. And that's the first out in the fourth. Dansby Swanson took a call third strike his first time up. One two coming to Swanson. And he struck him out with high heat. Tyler McGill showing off all his wares tonight. He's got seven strikeouts. Miller hit one off the end of the bat, grounded out to Freddie his first time. Shift on for Pilar to the left side. The pitch, check swing. Did he go? Doesn't matter. Pilar's headed to the dugout. He didn't even, he didn't even wait for the call. <laughs> he just spun around and headed to the dugout. Strikeout number four for Charlie. That was funny. James McCann flied to center his first time. The wind in the 2 2 to McCann. Another curve swung on and missed. It was in the left handed batter's box. Backhanded by Contreras. He has to wait for McCann to get to the grass and then he's rung up by Beck. Strikeout number five for Charlie Morton. Three in a row. And I swear that pitch bounced in the left handed batter's box. Yeah, it did. Charlie Morton grounded out his first time up and he goes down on three pitches against McGill in this at bat. Eight strikeouts now for Tyler. Two out. Braves trying to be the first ones on the board. Acuna at third. Freeman at first. Ozzie the batter. 
He has really scuffled against the Mets this year. Four for 30. Swings at the first pitch and sends a drive toward the Braves bullpen. Way back. That ball is gone. Home run, Ozzy on the first pitch. Three to nothing, Braves on a rocket out of here by Ozzy Albies, his 13th of the year. Scuffle no more against the Metro. Lindor has put down a sacrifice bunt in the first and struck out in the fourth. No balls, two strikes for the Mets shortstop Lindor, who sacrificed and struck out. And he just struck out again on a breaking ball. He has gone to his knee a couple of times, and Charlie Morton carves him up. That's six. Michael Conforto singled his last time up on a fastball, 97. He had a rocket back to center. And a swing and a miss. Conforto couldn't catch up to the curveball. Back to back strikeouts again. That's seven. Charlie Morton is grounded on, struck out, 0 for 2. 1 2 coming from Drew Smith. And it's hit back up the middle. Lindor behind the bag, able to snag it. And he throws on Morton to end the inning. And now the Mets will get the tying run to bat in the seventh with James McCann coming up. 1 2 coming to McCann. And he lofts one to deep left center field. Back in the gap goes Heredia at the wall. It's out of here. James McCann ties the game with a three run homer. The Mets get the big hit they've been looking for. Seventh home run of the year for McCann, and this game is even three to three in the seventh. There's Lindor who's 0 for 2 and a sacrifice. And Lindor cracks one. Base hit in the left center field, and that'll bring home the lead run. Peraza in to score. Francisco Lindor with a big two out hit. And the Mets lead it 4 3 in the seventh. Got Albert Almora up there. Here's the 1 0 on the way. Ground ball out to Dansby. Takes it on two hops to Ozzy for one. Ozzy to Freddie. Double play. And thus the Braves are down to their final out, but they've got Ronald Acuna Jr. coming to the plate. One for three and a walk tonight. And he pops the first pitch up into shallow right field. In comes Conforto. Out goes Peraza. Conforto makes the catch, and the ball game is over.